Hey, crowd vibers, buckle up because we're about to take you on a wild ride through Michigan. It was night two of an epic concert run, and I was following three bands Aurora Wave, Long Beach Sub All Stars, and The Movement, all the way from Detroit to Bell's Eccentric Cafe in Kalamazoo. We've got all the highlights from this killer show, minus the two hour drive in the rain to get there. But trust me, it was worth it, and let me tell you why. But first, in full transparency, I've only seen Michigan from the window of a plane at the DTW airport. So I was stoked for a road trip to Kalamazoo. First stop on the way, Ann Arbor. And man, was I in for a surprise. I stumbled on this massive stadium before grabbing lunch with a friend. It was really cool. Thankfully, it was Sunday, so all the college football action has already happened. Still, you could feel the game day energy lingering in the air. Let's talk about the first band on deck. These guys came to tear it up, and Keizu had no idea what was coming. The weather held out, the stage was set, and Aurora Wave didn't just start their set, they exploded onto the stage. It was a mind-blowing fusion of reggae and heavy metal that took us on a wild journey, almost like it was meant to be. They launch us into the stratosphere, bring us to our boiling point, then land us softly with pure kindness. Seriously, these guys crushed it. Keizu scored an amazing treat. By the way, their set list said, Unholy Kindness. If anyone knows what that's all about, let me know in the comments. Well, let's get into one of my personal favorites, Long Beach Dub All-Stars. I've been jamming to these guys since my surfing days on the OBX. I'd be cruising down to S-Turns in Rodanthe NC, windows down, blasting their tunes, heading towards the waves. So when I found out I'd be seeing them live again, you better believe I was totally stoked. They came out swinging with the mix of new jams and old favorites. The crowd went wild for classics like Rosarita and DJs, while also vibing to tracks from the latest album, Echo Mountain High. But let's talk about the highlights. They killed it with Preach to the Preacher. And everyone was singing along to Tell Me. No, no, no. Why won't you tell me? No, no, no. And they brought the house down with Rolled On, Long Beach Dub All-Stars, always an all-star performance. Movements, Ways of the World Tour, rolled into Bell's Eccentric Cafe, and let me tell you, the crowd was totally stoked. But the best part of the Sunday afternoon, when Nathan from Aurora Wave and the crew, yep, that's the same Nathan from Ayaterra, jumped on stage to join the movement for a killer performance of Redwoods. What a cool way to kick off the show. Captures some seriously epic moments that you've got to check out. Highlights include River Guide You, Siren, Love to Burn, and much more. But the real showstopper was a Bob Marley cover of War that I've never seen live before, and they nailed it. Trust me, you don't want to miss this song. So do yourself a favor and hit up the playlist in the description for all the special moments from the show. I'm so glad I made the trip to Michigan. I met so many cool people along the way, soaked in the sights and sounds, and experienced some seriously good vibes at this amazing show. Before I go, don't forget to check out my weekly podcast and other Know Before the Show videos for all your concert updates and reggae rock goodness. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.